Everybody hates lost email. Whether you've accidentally archived an important message or are just unsure where Gmail archived emails are located, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to retrieve your archived emails in Gmail, show you where they're hiding and help you to retrieve those emails back into your Gmail inbox. If you've been archiving and instead you're looking to delete, I can show you how to do that too. My name is Pete Moriarty and I've been helping small business owners systemize, organize and scale for over 20 years with Google Workspace and other technology tools. This channel is to help empower you as a business owner to get your tech right. And let's jump right in to finding out how to get those emails back. Now let's take a look at exactly what Google's archive function is because it's one of those scary buttons that not everyone knows exactly what it does. Effectively, your archive is something called the all mail folder inside of Google. The all mail folder is where everything lives in your mailbox. You've got your emails in your inbox, they're in all mail. You've got your emails in your outbox, they're in all mail. You've got your emails that sit in your labels, they're also in all mail. It literally means all mail. Now, when we archive an email, it effectively means it's going out of our inbox and it's going to that all mail folder. But remember that it already existed in the all mail folder? Yes, bear with me, I'm gonna potentially fry your noodle here. Every email in our inbox is just tagged with the tag inbox. And so when an email comes into our Gmail account, it actually goes straight into the all mail folder. And Google just says, well, this is a new email, so I'm gonna tag it inbox. Therefore, the archive button is just unticking the label from our emails sitting in our inbox, and they then just live in the all mail folder. Now, of course, you can run a search and it's gonna search your whole Google account and it's gonna search everything in all mail. So you're always gonna be able to find them, right? And archive is a good way of moving something out of your inbox without necessarily having to delete it completely because it's always gonna be retained in your all mail folder. Google doesn't delete them after a certain period of time. Once they're in there, they will stay forever. So using the archive feature is a great way to keep important emails without cluttering your inbox. So I recommend using the archive feature for any emails that you don't need to immediately access, but you wanna keep them for reference. You maybe wanna be able to search for them in the future. And you can use adding a label to an email before you archive it to give it some categorization or give it some reference to be able to use it again. My personal opinion is that I don't bother that much with labels myself. I think labels are a relic from the days where we had to keep our inbox really, really tidy. So we would delete the stuff that wasn't important and keep the stuff in folders that was important. But these days, the search in Google is just so good. And using the advanced search for anything we can't find with a basic search means that if you can find everything, why bother categorizing things into labels? For some of us, it's just an old learnt behavior. And to be honest, we receive so many emails on a daily basis these days, it's often difficult just to keep up with that overflowing inbox. So let's see how we can find lost emails inside our Gmail. First up, we're gonna to go to the all mail folder. It's on the left-hand side. You're gonna look for it. If you can't see it, you may need to click the more button and you'll find all mail. You're gonna see every single email in there. So it is quite overwhelming. So I would say that you probably wanna use the search to find emails that are sitting in all mail if there's something specific you're looking for. Now, if you're interested in finding an email from a particular person and you know roughly what the email was about, you can use search stacking to find it. First, you would start typing their name, you enter their email address, and then you enter the keyword. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna find all emails that reference that email address, including that keyword in there as well. Very, very useful. Now, if you're finding these tips useful and you wanna make the most out of Gmail for your business, subscribe to our channel for more guides just like this. You can also head to itgenius.com to help your business get scaled effectively. We have a free trial and a free health check for anyone who's interested in getting more out of the workspace ecosystem. If you're a small business owner, even if you're a sole trader or a large organization using Google, we can definitely help. Now I've taken you through the basics of search stacking, but what if you can't find the email that you're looking for? Well, my recommendation is you first start with a search with just a couple of terms, and then you click onto the drop down to open up the advanced search window. That's gonna let you say, hey, I think it's within about one year of XYZ date and whittle down your emails to a certain period of time where the email may be. You may also say, hey, I'm pretty sure it was in this label or it included these words, but maybe not those other words. And you'll find that as you start to run searches, the results will start to get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner the more you add additional search terms into the advanced search window. That's my recommendation if you're trying to find something that you're looking for and you can't find it. 
Now, if you need to bring an email back from your archive, it's pretty straightforward. It's not deleted, it's not trashed, but the archive is effectively outside of the inbox. So if we wanna bring it back, well, we just need to bring it back into the inbox. We can label it with the inbox label, or we can click the bring back to inbox button, and that's gonna allow us to bring that email back. Pretty straightforward, we can add it to other labels, an email can exist in multiple labels if you want it to, but if we need it in the inbox, well, we can bring it back there from the all mail. You may be wondering, Pete, well, if we can archive emails and keep them, when should we delete emails? And I have very strong opinions about that. Remember I said earlier that our inboxes are just overwhelming at the moment, and it really just causes stress and anxiety with the amount of emails that we're receiving every day. My strong opinion is that we shouldn't waste decision fatigue deciding, should I keep this email or should I delete this email? The reality is, even if you're close to running out of space on your Google account, the Space taken up by an email is absolutely negligible. You're probably not gonna be able to get your space back by deleting old emails or trying to keep your inbox clean. And that's a learned behavior. Again, from the olden days of email when our local computer could only have so many messages on it before it started running slow or the search started crashing or our server online would crash and run out of space and start sending bounce backs to people when we ran out. Google just doesn't have that problem anymore. It can serve tens or hundreds of thousands of emails instantly without running into any problems with performance. And the space is so large, you're probably only ever gonna fill it with files in your Google Drive rather than emails in your inbox. So with all that said, why would we ever bother deleting an email? We just don't need to bother cleaning up space in our Gmail account. My recommendation is you don't bother wasting the decision-making power. You literally just hit the button for the archive and you just make that your default. Do I need this now? No archive. Is this important? No archive. Do I need to drop it in a label? Sure, drop it in a label and then archive. And that's one of the fundamentals on keeping your inbox clean. Speaking of keeping your inbox clean, if you'd like to go through our free training on managing your inbox, dominating your inbox every day, it's seven simple steps to make that happen. It's a free training on our website. Click the link down below to get started. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.